Hey you guys, hope you're doing well today. I'm Franny. I feel like I never introduced myself. A lot of you have been with me for a while, but if you're new, hi, I'm Franny. And on my channel, I talk about whatever I want. So today, in continuing with the Kimmy theme of my channel right now, I wanna start something new where I go through different flamboyant gamine style choices and find the extremes. Kibbe talks about training your eye to be able to see the yin and to see the yang extremes. And so I thought by creating this series, we could practice seeing that together. This is just a um, conversation starter as you may see things that I don't see and I may see things that you don't see. And so, in kindness and respect, we can have a beautiful conversation about our perception and our perspectives. You guys are already so great at doing that in the comments, and I really appreciate the ways that you guys have helpful, kind discussions. Well, most of you. So in doing this, of course, I would love to hear what you guys think and who you would like to discuss in future episodes of this series. If you have like a cute title that you think we should call it, I would love to kind of poll you guys for that in the comments. So like if you have like a clever idea of what we should call this little series, let's come up with something together. I think that would be so fun. Speaking of more collaborative efforts for my channel and finding ways to really include you guys, in what I do, I'm starting a little, another series because I want to have more content for like blog posts and things like that and I love having a Thursday video come up every once in a while but to make it more consistent I thought it might be fun to have you guys submit questions to me and then I can make a video in depth answering the questions based off of what I think and off of my research that I do. If you're curious or you have some sort of inquiry for me, definitely um, Mila. My, my co-host has informed me that there's actually a email, my co-host being Mila but she has informed me that there is an email that you can send your questions to called askfranny at gmail.com. I think it'll just create a, a safer way to ask questions without having people watching, you know, everything you're asking. And it'll give more people opportunities and courage to ask the things that they want to and the things that come to their mind. I think that makes enough sense, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and start this video in today's episode of Extreme Fashion with Branny. That's a terrible name. That's not it. This, I need your help. Help me in the comments. Help, please. Today's episode, as you can tell by the thumbnail and by the title of this video, is that we are going to talk about Tessa Thompson. Ooh. I don't know how I did not know about this woman previously. One, she's gorgeous. She's stunning. And two, her style is so cool. So awesome. She has so much versatility in her expression that I just... I made a Pinterest board with her fashion. Definitely go follow me on Pinterest if you haven't already so that you can see all of my flamboyant gamine style icon boards and things like that as well as maybe some non flamboyant gamine style as well just some things that I'm drawn to here and there. Let's go ahead and talk through a few of my favorites that I've seen recently and probably some inspiration that I'm going to take from her style. This is kind of reminiscent of my first series on my channel which was about flamboyant gamine style icons and how I wanted to pull their style into my style. I've done that in some ways and in other ways I've kind of grown past where I started but it was a great starting point for me. So the first outfit is this dress. She's so stunning in this dress. Okay, let me talk about what we've got going on and what my eyes initially see. I have my computer down here, so I'm gonna be looking down, but I'll have the picture over to my right or my left or wherever. So what I initially see when I look at this outfit is that plunging neckline. It's such an extreme yang element. It's a vertical element, it is 
deep it provides a sense of structure to this dress that is actually a very yin fabric. It's very flowy. There isn't a lot of structure to it. It's kind of formless. Immediately next, I see this giant bow in the middle. This is like a floppy, formless bow. I think Tessa has some soft yang in her frame as one of her yang leaning extremes here. Having this dress that feels like it has a mixture of extremes, which is the yin and the yang, the deep neckline is the yang, the stripes are the yang. I'm looking at her accessories and immediately I'm like, okay, her earrings. Huge hoop earrings. Round shape is yin, large shape is yang. And that's something that's perfect for flamboyant gamine because it's a mixture of extremes. It's going to be really harmonious with her body. And I just love this look. I think it's so good. I wish that I could see what shoes she had on with it. And I wish that I had a full length picture, but in general, I think this is a really cool look because it does have that balance uh, or that mixture of yin and yang extremes going on in it. I love her makeup, how it's focused on the lips. Her brows are really strong and then her eye makeup is pretty subdued. There's a slight shimmer to it or like a metallic-y kind of thing going on. Um, a reflectiveness to her eye makeup which plays with the metallic elements of her jewelry. It's really such a statement. I just think that it looks really really glamorous on her and really feminine actually. Really, um, She looks really powerful in that way. Let's look at the next one! I love this look! I, I was hesitant to include this look in here because of her long braids. Apparently, I ruffled some feathers with my long hair for Gamine's video where I talk about having an outfit that is more yin to balance the yang length of the hair. I think you can wear long hair as a Gamine. I, you can fight me on that if you want, but I don't necessarily think it's like the best, most harmonious look and it does take a lot more effort to make it work and you do have to really think about how your clothes are going to affect, add, or take away from that yin yang balance. But Tessa looks gorgeous here and there are tons of flamboyant gamines who look beautiful with long hair. They'd also look stunning with a bob and maybe it would be more effortless for them to have short hair, certainly. I agree, I even, I think I even mentioned that in my last video and the video where I tried on all of my clothes. I still crave my braids. I'm gonna have my braids if I want them. Shoot, Kibby is for inspiration for me and it's not um, that rigid for me. But it's fun, I love talking about it, so keep the conversations coming, you guys. But anyway, back to this outfit. This is such a cool look. I would wear this personally. I would total, I would 100% wear this. You can see Tessa's like compact figure in this one too. She has kind of a shorter torso, longer arms and legs, but everything it has this like softness of her flesh. Her wrists are pretty small. Let's look at this dress. Let's find some extremes here. So we have rounded shapes, but they're also kind of geometric in a way. Like the dress is short, it's see-through, it's so cool, I just, I love this. So this dress is super yin, in my opinion, um, but it's animated, which is perfect for gamine. It has that rounded neckline, which I see that as yin, but it's slim and boxy. Um, since you can see through to whatever undergarment she has on there, I think that helps to kind of create a color block right in her midsection. I don't know what material those little sequin-esque pieces are, made out of, but if they're any sort of like stiff material, that's definitely yang. So it's like kind of a small and stiff dress, which are the extremes. Is that what you guys see too? I think that's where I'm landing after processing this out loud. And since the dress is such a statement, then I think that it's really a good choice for her to be wearing very minimal makeup and not a lot, no, no jewelry at all, actually. I think she looks amazing here. I love this look. I would wear it. <laughs> Let's talk about the next look. It is kind of a casual look. She's kind of out on the town, you know, day to day. The girl in the background there, what is she doing? She's like, I think someone's taking a picture. 
think somebody's like, I think the paparazzi are here. I think that's what she's doing. <laughs> so once again, Tessa's got her long braids. She looks so cool. I see a lot of color blocking. So we have a broken silhouette here. I see her shirt is sheer and it's kind of fitted but undone. So again, that's kind of a soft yang. She pulls from soft yang quite a bit actually. Her pants underneath, so even though the top is kind of longer and oversized, the piece underneath, both pieces underneath if you look really carefully, they're both very skin tight, very fitted, so you have a juxtaposition there. Ultimately very short and the lines are shortened. You have her small bag that goes with it. It's a small square, so small is yin, square is yang. So that works beautifully for her. And her shoes. What's going on with those, you guys? Those, her toe is split in them? I think they're mules, which I love, but they have like a toe space in them, which I don't understand. But it works, it's quirky. And I think obviously Gamines need a little bit of quirkiness in their look. They need a little bit of something that's kind of like, what? what's that? Because it goes with their essence and it goes with that bold youthfulness that they have. Her necklace also is a really great touch, I think, because it's kind of a neutral. It goes with the whole thing. It adds a bit of detail and animation to an overall kind of simple outfit. And it also creates a higher neckline without being a turtleneck, without being a mock neck. It just, it lifts here and so the silhouette starts almost at her neck and then it's broken and broken and broken and staccato like her lines are in her body. Her glasses are dark which I think adds another level of contrast to the look which I think pulls everything together those accessories do. I think she looks great here. I need to get a pair of biker shorts. What do you think Mila? All right let's look at this one. This one feels wild. Let's start with the clothes. She's wearing a turtleneck. It's fitted. It's sleek. She's got this sort of blazer situation going on. It's matching blazer set, but the top is oversized. It's pretty long. Um, <clears throat> pretty fitted everywhere else, just a little bit long. And then you have the skirt portion that matches, which is kind of an unexpected surprise. I have never seen like a midi skirt length suit. A suit skirt? Usually suit skirts are like knee length, I guess. So I've never seen anything like that. Unique looks are always going to make flamboyant gamines look pretty cool. It doesn't feel like it's too much on her. It is a lot of fabric, but I think the way that she has the fitted turtleneck underneath and the fitted leggings underneath really help remind you that her frame is small. And so it pr creates that level of yin yang extreme. Fitted pieces are always going to be yin. She's broken up her line pretty well here with <clears throat> with that black belt underneath. So that helps also cinch in her waist area and add a little bit more definition and fittedness with this more oversized kind of feel. And then her shoes are like shiny and metallic and kind of cool like that. Again, she's not really wearing much jewelry, which is totally fine. Now this is a look where I feel like if she had long braids with this look, it would not work because there's too much going on with this outfit. The braids would really weigh her down. So having her hair pulled back with kind of those tousled bangs really adds a level of sophistication and elegance and a little bit of yin as well with her hair being more um, feeling more short with the way that she styled it here. So anyway, I think this is a really cool flamboyant gamine look for winter. It's a little bit quirky, it's a little animated, it's just kind of fun. I really do want some sort of like plaid suit situation. I think that would look so cool and I would love to have pieces that I can mix and match within the set or wear it similarly to this where she wears it together. I don't know if I'd go for a skirt like that though. That's just not, that doesn't feel like me. Okay, last outfit is this one. Sleek and chic. Ooh girl, she looks so good here. This is a look that I would wear every single day. This would be my uniform. Like if I were a cartoon character, I would wear this outfit every single day. She looks so good here. Her skin is glowing, she's smiling, she's having a great time. She's got her iced coffee, living her life, having a great time. Let's break down the look. You've got a fitted mock neck. That might be a sweater. It seems like a sweater. And then you have these boyfriend jeans. They're kind of oversized and that juxtaposes with 
the fittedness of the top. They're not skinny jeans, they're not skin tight, they're not even tapered. And so having the cuff rolled up as well creates a lighter shade of blue, which is like a little color block. It has like really cool weight to it that I think adds some structure and depth to this outfit. The pants are definitely yang leaning. The mock neck shirt is yin leaning. So those combined in her silhouette create those extremes that she needs. Let's look at her jacket. The jacket is so beautiful. This is the jacket that I'm looking for this winter. Anyway, I love this coat because it's very long. It's um, fitted for her body. She doesn't it's not really an oversized coat as much as it is a long coat because you can see how it like it hits and lands right at her shoulders, it lands right at her wrists, so everything is just right in that regard. It doesn't go all the way down to her feet, so it is kind of a cropped length. I think that is so elegant, so stunning, perfect, love it. And then her black shoes, they are sleek. They are fitted at her ankle. They don't create too much bulk. I think this is a great fall, winter, early spring look for flamboyant Gamine, and I would totally wear this, 100%. I would probably have some jewelry on, personally. Uh, she does have rings on, that's fine. But then let's look at her bag, okay? Because this big coat, Definitely is yang leaning, 100%. But so are flamboyant gamines. They are yang leaning. So I think that that helps with her overall balance. But the bag, not talking about the orange one. I'm talking about the little rounded one, the leather one. Another black piece, too, um, to just continue with this theme. It's almost monochrome, but not. But anyway, I was talking about her back. It's very small, it's very yin, it is structured though, and so I think that's a good mixture of extremes. And then to tie it all off, her hair is pulled back. She's got it nice and sleek and slick, and um, I think that that looks really beautiful. I would say that this feels kind of geometric, but I think that the way that she does it, it brings out all the yin in her face. And overall, I think that this look from top to bottom, from head to toe, is a beautiful flamboyant gamine look. At least it's a really good place to start. I personally would love to have seen maybe a red lip for a bit of like va va voom and maybe some jewelry around her neck to give a little bit more animation. Those are all the looks, pretty good. So tell me this, guys, friends, fam, flam gam fam, which look is your favorite? I personally love the last look, and um, I loved like the biker look. I loved that one. I love casual looks. It's so hard for Gamines to find looks that feel casual, but I think that um, if you really think about it and think about where the extremes are, what you're looking for, you can create a flamboyant Gamine outfit any season, any occasion, and really find something that's beautiful and suits you and honors your frame. That's it. Tell me which look was your favorite in the comments, whose outfits you want me to look at next, and um, this was really fun. I love talking about people's styles and gleaning inspiration from the ways that fellow flamboyant gamines dress and what looks good on them, what feels balanced. Of course, if you have any questions for me for my Thursday series, my Ask Franny, Answers by Franny. What should I call it? Again, I'm like, I don't I don't know what to call it. I'm still working on it, but I do have the email ready for you guys to send in your questions. And that's just askfranny at gmail.com. So I have a lot of different points where you guys get to participate in this video and in my channel. So I would love it for you to take advantage of that. And um, I'd love to hear from you. That is all for this video, you guys. I love Tessa's style. I think she's a great example if you're looking for a gamine fashion. And I, I admire her greatly. I love you so much. I hope that you are taking time to breathe, to be gentle with yourself, to take breaks from the social medias, from the internet, from the news intake, and really be grounded in the truth of who you are. You are made of light and love, and you are worthy of life and love. I'm serious. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!